It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Monday, the 15th of January. I'm Michael Groff. Much of the nation being plunged into the deep freeze, but here in the southwest, a warming trend taking place over the next several days with afternoon high temperatures going above average. We're done with the freeze warnings. We're done with the frost in most places. It looks like it's going to be very nice for a while, but signs that we could see some precipitation returning to the forecast way out there toward the end of the weekend or perhaps early next week. Let's talk about all of it here as we dive in and discuss. Here's that almanac from yesterday, 67 degrees, the afternoon high, 41 the morning low. Just shy of those averages, up to 68 and 46 now. And outside here, just after 8 o'clock, we've got sunny sky. We've got 43 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew point 28, humidity 56%. It's a light wind and the barometer is steady. The upper level weather pattern shows you just why the Arctic air is surging on south. We've got that cross polar flow going on, the Arctic air moving up over the poles and down in that northerly to northwesterly flow east of the Rockies. The surface front right now is uh, located um, over the southeast U.S. and that, that's Arctic air is surging south into Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, all the way back into Texas. And it's going to continue to surge southward and with that, just a big mess. Now for us, we don't have to worry about any of that because we are under the protection of a ridge of high pressure that's building in well to the west of us and a dry northwesterly flow here. And so the Rocky Mountains, the Colorado Plateau, all of that shields us from that Arctic air that's coming on south. Here is that watch warning map and look at this mess. We have winter storm warnings in effect for parts of Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee. You know, winter weather advisories in some of those same places just to the south of there. So places like Houston and over toward Lake Charles and uh, Jackson, Mississippi and Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. You guys have winter weather advisories. Now, in the winter storm warning, you could not only see some snow, but also uh, the bigger threat is actually the freezing rain and ice accumulation that is likely to occur. It'll be, you know, in the in the 20s, but raining outside. And that's always bad whenever you have liquid precipitation coming down with air temperatures below 32 degrees, because then it, that that water freezes. Ice accumulation happens, especially on bridges and then on power lines eventually. And it's just a mess. And so that's going to be the situation over the southeast. And again, some snowflakes, too. Could see some pretty decent snow in parts of uh, Arkansas, Mississippi, northern Alabama, but then Tennessee Valley, parts of Tennessee. Uh, but even a few flakes of snow possible all the way down to the Gulf Coast. So that's a, a big deal. And then further to the north, you see those wind chill advisories from Oklahoma on northward up into the Dakotas and Minnesota. We've got wind chills well down in the 30 to 40 degree below zero range with air temperatures somewhere between 10 to 20 below in some places, even a little bit colder than that. Now, out here in the southwest, at least in Arizona, things are very quiet. No more freeze warnings, and we don't have to worry about any freezing temperatures for a while here in the deserts. The watch or the uh, convective outlook for today is very quiet, too. No organized severe weather. Some thunder across parts of Florida. And here's the precipitation outlook. This is valid through Monday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix generally around one to two tenths of an inch. Yes, numbers coming up. That's an encouraging sign, and we would really love to see some decent rain around here. We've only had three hundredths of an inch so far uh, this month, and obviously we are well behind on rainfall if we just look at the last uh, six months or so. So let's see if we can find some here. Let's see what's going on with this weather pattern in more detail. To take a look at that, we'll check the models. Here we go. The GFS 06Z run valid 2 o'clock this afternoon. And that is the classic Arctic air intrusion look. You've got the <clears throat> anomalous ridging up there over the Arctic Circle. You've got very deep cross-polar northerly flow that's coming on down, <clears throat> especially east of the Rockies, digging out a trough across the eastern part of the country. But a ridge is building to the west of us. A dry northwesterly flow ongoing. So what it means for us down at the surface for today. <clears throat> Mostly sunny sky, high temperatures this afternoon, mid 60s. Should be a pretty nice day. Now tonight, we'll have a few clouds in the evening, then becoming clear overnight with lows. Mostly mid 30s in the coldest valley spots, but still probably staying above freezing and mostly in the low 40s for us in the urban core. And then tomorrow... 
More the same, mid to upper 60s, the sky mostly sunny, and we'll be around 70 on Wednesday as well. Now, there will be some passing clouds at times with systems moving to the north of Arizona, but it's going to be about it. Partly to mostly cloudy sky for Thursday. High temperatures around 70, maybe the low 70s. Low to mid 70s perhaps on Friday. This could be the warmest day of the period. Saturday too, upper 60s, low 70s with partly to mostly cloudy sky. But we have a system that's lurking off to the west of us, and we're watching this feature. Now, this is not a deep, robust, moisture-rich trough of low pressure, one of those that's going to tap into deep tropical moisture or anything like that. However, there will be enough moisture and dynamic support as we go to Sunday to at least facilitate mostly cloudy sky and a small chance we could see some rain around here. Mostly light rain. You can see the heavier precipitation uh, concentrated along the west coast from San Diego on northward up to Seattle. Some rain possible there and some mountain snow too. But some precipitation could get on in here as we get to uh, Sunday, so we've introduced at least a 20% chance of showers, and some of our guidance would suggest we may need to bump that rain chance up, but th we've got a long time to watch this. This is out at day seven. All right, now let's go out to a week from today. This is Monday, the 22nd of January. Now, you know, we're seeing a change in the overall weather pattern. The Arctic air should be mostly gone by the time we get to early next week. We've got a big ridge over the, much of the continental United States. But a weak trough, a weak wave in here. And so we could still see some clouds and maybe even a few showers if this verifies. And then going out 10 days, this is Wednesday, the 24th, a trough just off to the east of us, a ridge trying to build in from the west, a dry northwesterly flow, and that looks pretty quiet. Rainfall for Phoenix out through the 29th of January off of the GFS Ensemble. You've got 31 members. You've got one member that shows nothing. You've got another one that's over two inches of rain and everything in between. The Ensemble mean, and that's really what you like to look at here on these things, is the mean. And it's around two-thirds of an inch and actually pretty much the same story for the European Ensemble. You've got a few members that show nothing at all, others uh, between one and two inches. But the mean is about two-thirds of an inch, denoting at least somewhat better chances we could see some precipitation late in the month. Looking at temperatures off the national blend of models, we're going to keep it at or above normal on most days for the rest of the period. And that looks pretty good. Now, if we do see some precipitation, readings could get a little bit lower than what's shown here. But no sign of any more freezing temperatures around here. Some chill, a chilly night tonight and tomorrow, but... Yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. Uh, we're, we'll see lows mostly 40s or maybe even some 50s at times. And again, this is at Sky Harbor. Your number will be a bit lower than that for most of you. Uh, but again, no major uh, cold snaps for us anytime soon. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is due back here tomorrow morning. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, then be sure to subscribe, like, share, Click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, suggestions, and if you really like what we do here, you want to support us monetarily, you can click that thanks icon below the video here on YouTube, make those monetary contributions, $2, $5, $5,000, it all helps in the furtherance of this channel, and it is greatly appreciated by me, and you know who else is appreciated of it or appreciative of it? the executive producer of this here Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. I'm talking about my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and proprietor of sweetchildaz.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona. I'm talking about the blogging machine herself, talking about my Michelle. So please go ahead and check her out over there on sweetchildaz.com and .org. And I'm going to even link that up for you in the description along with her other endeavors as well. So give Michelle some love also. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. All of your continued support, so greatly appreciated. Please be safe, and you guys have yourselves an absolutely epic rest of your Monday.